two weeks. What's on your mind, Dollar? That would pull that trailer. Yeah. <laughs> Dodge can't pull a trailer, it no. can only haul it. My, my first question was, how did he do that? <laughs> Yeah. What I want to know is how he's going to get the boat off at the boat ramp. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the truck's a submarine. Hey, yeah, yeah, he's just going to deep back into some really deep water. Minnesota boat time. Well, Keith and I have just arrived and we're at the minute. Minnesota Streetcar Museum and as I have shown in some of my videos we have done uh, quite a few bronze bearings for the Streetcar Museum. I'm going to show you where they're at on these now on the ones that are left. We just poured this batch and got it in a couple months back but they start off by putting an epoxy in there and bond the two halves together and then they Put these secondary hose clamps on there and then from there they turn it i'm assuming they're still putting the band clamps back on them after they turn the od just to keep the match sets together and and not have a mismatch but anyway this is what my casting looks like after they get through with it We've done that before, though. Guys, this is John. The guy that was driving the other end is Ross. What's our top speed going backwards? Is it the same as going forwards? We can get about the same speed going backwards if we want. At least 80 miles an hour, huh? <laughs> we try, try and stay just under 20. Okay. That would have been about the average speed back when these were running yeah, they, daily yeah, as well. They didn't have more than about you know, a block and a, a, two blocks to put power on. Okay, when you when you feel it coming uh, uh, to a stop, you quick release it all the way. I got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. a, a softer stop. Yeah. You want to do a test brake, or are you familiar with the air brakes? I, I watched Keith enough to know everything now. All right, give me a first notch. All right. Well, a little more. That's a half notch. Okay. Now, I can bump it forward just to coast a little bit, right? Yeah. And not get too fast. You got to push it all the way, though, because it... It's engaged? Yeah. There's a switch in there that, if you just partially move it, it cuts off. So you got to go all the way. I'm going right. to break it a little bit. All right. A little more. A little more. Okay, re release all the way. Okay. Once you know how that brake valve works, you can go right. All the way. All the way. All the way. The other way. Okay, that's what I was worried about. I fault for not specifying. 
Yeah. Now they're gonna need some new brake drums, Cass. Because <laughs> yeah. just, you just destroyed them. <laughs> See, there's track ends up there, so yeah, you know, yeah, it's uh, getting kind of critical here. So I stopped short of being on the sidewalk. Yeah, uh, good. we don't go all the way to the sidewalk. No, well, we, right. we do go a little further because if you open the rear door. Well, I want to. I want to thank you guys for the instructions. I didn't do no. it. So you go. I'm gonna find out what kind. And this, this is an air-operated windshield wiper. Yeah. yeah. I remember that from the last time. Okay, you can give them a couple more notches. Come on over here, Russ. <clears throat> Basically. So even though he's got control on the other end, you yeah. got control of the speed. Going all the way back. Okay, to I go all the way back so that when he turns the motors out again, uh, he gets some action. If okay. I move it a half a notch, that cuts off the uh, power and he can't get it started again. So you got to go all the way back okay. and then start over again. Okay. And usually I follow the uh, ammeter <clears throat> and when I see it going again, uh, reading again, then I give him more uh, notches. All this brake dust you made, Keith. Yeah. That's for people like me that don't get out of the way. Well, they didn't trust me on here by myself. They took the key out. That's one of the things uh, that they cover is the the uh, the motorman keeps the key on him at all time. And it's a special made wrench that slides right in here and operates everything. Where's Keith? That pedal's like a car here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was the uh, big innovation with PCCs. Actually, drill in their electromobile had pedal operation too. I figured I'd throw the switch too while I was out there. Oh, you did? Yeah. Thank you. So if we were going foot too far on the way back, is it just me or does this one pick up and go better than the other? Oh, definitely picks up and goes better. And it's a little smoother. Oh, much smoother. That was the whole purpose of designing these cars was to give the public riding public a, uh, a much better ride. Uh, PCC stands for Presidential Conference Committee and what happened in 1929 presidents of uh, uh, several major railway systems decided that uh, they needed something to compete with the automobiles. Yeah. Okay. And they got together and they wanted everybody made had their own streetcar design. 
and they wanted a standard car to bring the cost of manufacturing, the cost of new cars down. They wanted lighter, faster cars, more comfortable riding cars, no more uh, cane seats. <clears throat> and uh, so they took all of the advances in streetcar technology and added some more. This does not have a bull gear, uh, bull gear, uh, pinion gear driving the bull gear on the trucks. And it's got like a drive shaft and it's a lot quieter riding. Yeah. I can definitely tell a difference. Oh, yeah. Not resisting. Right. So y'all, he just pulled that this wrench has to go to the back, and it's also for clubbing passengers. This, I really enjoyed this. This, is, this has been a lot of fun. It always is. Yeah. Their kids up there and not feel that, oh my God, this is just too expensive. Right. Uh, right. right. Rouse, I appreciate it. The first two days, Keith and I were in Minnesota. We stayed with this couple, Mrs. Ruth and Mr. Dennis Stevens. Dennis actually works at the Streetcar Museum, and he's actually one of my contacts along with Jim Wilmore. But anyway, Ruth put us up at their place and cooked for us, and I just wanted to give them a shout-out and tell them how much we enjoyed their hospitality. So Keith and I arrived at Ironfest. And I'm just panning around getting some shots at the uh, Railway Museum uh, prior to the swap meet coming up the next day. And I did not get any video of the swap meet. Um, I did get to see Mr. Pete. And I got to tell you real quick, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, I helped Mr. Pete unload his car and get his tent set up. And... After that, I was going to sit down on the car bumper with him and visit for a spell. Well, he jumps up and takes off. And I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, about 10 people come running up to the table looking at the stuff he's got for sale. And luckily, he had prices on it. <laughs> so so uh, I ended up just selling the stuff for him. 20 minutes later, he finally comes back, and I had a, a, a wad of cash for him. That's what you're looking at here in the picture. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's always good to see Mr. Pete. And this, my friends, is my buddy Eddie. He's up here at Iron Fest, and he's helping out, and he's doing an, a, a beautiful job. Hi, everybody. So he's just taking off all the paint. I think we got her there, Clark. Looks great. Thank you. That is awesome. I can make this <laughs> 
This is Cindy and Garrett Harper. They live uh, not too far away from RNFS. Anyway, they happen to be subscribers of mine. And we got to hang out. Had a good time visiting with them. And they actually grilled hamburgers for Keith and I the next day. And I got to admit, that was the best burgers I had on the whole trip. But anyway, I just wanted to give a shout out to these two and uh, thank them for the hospitality. They're great folks. It's like a furnace. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's a pump, I guess. stainless steel cars, that whole train set. Wow. You can see the little flat out there. Just a side note, but Casey Jones was an engineer that was killed here in Vaughn, Mississippi. And they actually had the Casey Jones Museum there in Vaughn. And that's what caught my attention here. But I don't think this is the original engine. I thought it was at first, but I think it's one that was identical to it. I'm gonna have y'all on YouTube, you know that, right? Look natural, Keith. I'll send you the video. Triple header, you don't see it. 
every day.